For the macrame picture frame project, I used this 5x7 frame I found at the Dollar Tree, which is actually a really pretty frame, and also some macrame cord from Amazon, which I will link for you guys below. So what I started off by doing was measuring five five-foot pieces of macrame cord, and originally I was like, oh, I'm gonna need five pieces of this to make it wide enough to cover the frame, but I actually ended up only using four strands in the end. So I just went ahead and I taped this down to a heavy work surface. You can also use a clipboard or directly on top of a table. I just did it on this wood piece here. I used some tape and taped it down. Now this is a little bit out of order, but basically how you're gonna do this knot is you're gonna create a four shape and then pull the string up through and then repeat it one more time. And that's going to be your knot. So you're gonna create this four shape, pull the string up through, and then just tighten it up and that is your knot. And then you're gonna work onto the next strand. So as long as your strands are just kind of nicely lined up together, you're gonna to be able to really weave this kind of nicely and it kind of creates a diagonal shape. So as you can see here, I'm gonna create my first knot and each knot consists of two passes. So you're gonna do your two passes there. Then you're gonna work onto your next strand. So you're gonna do with the four shape, one knot and then you're gonna do one more knot and that is your full knot there. So as you can see, I kind of wanted to go ahead and see if the picture frame would be covered by this. This is when I started off with five strands, then I switched back to four strands. And this is just a very, very continuous kind of loop from here on out. So you're just going to be doing the two knots to create your knot and then work on to the next strand. And as you do this, your strands are actually gonna to transfer to the right and you're just gonna be continuing the process. So as you can see here, I'm finishing this up at the end, then you're gonna grab your leftmost strand and continue the process again, working from left to right. Builds up pretty quickly and you're gonna to need to create four total macrame pieces. Two are gonna be for the top and the bottom and two are gonna be for both the sides. So I started off by adding glue to the top of the frame and then I'm going to be placing down my macrame piece that I created for the top and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is also glue down those ends. I did the top and the bottom first. That way I can glue the ends underneath what is going to be covered by the left and the right sides. So I glued these down and I used my scissors to kind of just keep my hands nice and not burnt. So I kind of pressed it down with my hands. Then I flipped it over to the bottom side and did the same exact thing by gluing this down to the bottom of the frame tacking down those extra cords on the left and the right side and just cutting them flush with the edge. Then we're gonna work over on the side. So I added a little bit of glue there and then I took the piece that is for the side and pressed it on and kind of pressed it into that little crack on the corner. And then all the way down, you're gonna to wanna to glue on the side of that frame and just press your piece down. And keep in mind that if you macrame a little bit more, the great thing is, is that you can kind of undo some of the knots if it's too long, but it could be a little bit more challenging to add knots. So I suggest macrameing a bit longer than you think and then you can cut off any additional pieces. So as you can see here, I'm kind of unknotting it a little bit because it was just a little bit too long and once you unknot it you could then glue it into place and just cut off the strands flush to the knot that you created. I'm working now on the opposite side gluing that piece down and that is really how you create the macrame frame. It is pretty simple it's just four continuous macrame pieces. On the back side I popped in the glass piece, popped in a little bit of artwork and that finishes off our macrame frame. Mm -hmm. 